So you want to know how to use a free content calendar on Google Sheets. I'm going to show you all of that today. To start off, we have a free content calendar template for you. If you didn't want to grab the free template, not sure why you wouldn't, but you can jump on and make your own. I have a video on how to do this from about a year ago and the information is still relevant. Once you get your free content calendar template, you will be able to make a copy and start your own. So when you go in, this is what you'll be greeted with. We have every single month across the bottom here all the way up to December 2024. Now I will be sending out a brand new one come December 2024 for next year. So don't worry, you're going to have recurring templates coming in for every year. To start off with, I know that our date format is very strange here in Australia. So I'm going to teach you how to change that. So here in Australia, we go date, month, then year. And I know that over in America and other countries, it goes month, date, and then year. So I'm going to show you how to alter that now if you are in a different time zone than Australia. So all we need to do is you're going to click, drag, and highlight all of the dates on this first page and then you're going to go up to format under format we're going to go down to number and scroll down to the second bottom one which is custom date and time so click on this here disregard everything at the bottom we're just looking at this top section here this is the format that it's going to show so the date um, slash month slash year so we want to change it so what we're going to do is we're actually going to click on them all delete them all it's just easier that way and take out the slashes and then see this little arrow here we're going to click that arrow hit month put a dash the arrow again day dash and then year and then you're going to go apply and it's going to change everything to your format now I haven't figured out a system on how to do this to every page yet if you do know how to let me know down below if there's a quick easy fix for every single page in one click like that you will have to go through and do this to every page but it is the easiest option instead of you redating every single thing for the sake of this video I am going to go change it back to the date month year so that doesn't confuse me now, just another little thing on this date is if you want to have like a zero above it, you can do that. So this is where you can drop it down and alter it. I'm not going to do that though. We're going to go apply and it's back to how I see it as an Australian. Now, when you're going through these content calendar templates, you'll see that we go Sunday to Saturday. That's just how I do it. And that's how I have this template set up to change it. You will have to do a lot of work to get it changed. But if you would like, let me know down below if you want me to make one that goes Monday to Sunday and I can do that for you. Moving on from there to add your content. This is the super fun part. So we're going to jump over to Canva and have a look at my content creation journey. I am a graphic designer and I do like to use the Adobe suite for more specific size requirements. However, when it comes to content creation for social media, I do so happen to use Canva a lot of the time. This just makes it easier. It gives me the ability to share it with anyone if I need to prior to uploading it and allows me to be able to teach you how to use Canva. Now there are videos coming up that are going to be all about utilizing Canva so if you're a little bit stuck on how to use Canva just wait out for that one hit the subscribe button so that you know when it comes out so what I'm going to do is we're going to speed along I'm going to create some content so that you can see what it looks like to insert that content into our content calendar Now we have all our content created, we can start putting it into this calendar. The best thing about this calendar is that you can visualize it in one place instead of having to upload it and hoping that it all looks cohesive. Now I know that there are tools out there that you can use, but they do come at a cost. So let's jump in, let's start adding our content and I'm going to show you how to actually add your captions too, so that when it comes time to scheduling, you have it all in one place. So I do content for clients here at Willow Pine Studios. And for a while there, I also had a contractor who would come and work for me. This was really handy to have all the information in one place so that I could share it with them and then they can work from it too. 
Alrighty, let's start adding some content. So I'm going to go and find the day. So today is the 14th. Um, we are going to, on Saturday the 16th, I'm going to upload a piece of content. So we're going to click on the box we want, go insert, image, and image in cell. We want it to be in and held within that cell. So here we go, we have all my pieces of content. I am going to add this one here. And now that you can see it is in this cell, this is a really handy way to be able to, like I said, visualize it. Something that I do if I'm planning out content prior to creating it is you can also click on the section and you can write it into that box. So you can go through, plan out three months of content in advance, and then you can go and create that content in the future. However, I do have my content, so I'm just going to continue adding it for the next week on my calendar. All right, now that I have all my content added, I'm actually going to show you a little tip that if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can make the content actually fill out the box. So these boxes are mainly designed for square type content. However, I would highly recommend using long rectangle content. So you can actually see on the edge here between eight and nine, how it brings up this little line. You just have to click and drag it and it will open it up so that you can actually fill in the box. You don't have to do this, but it's a little bit of fun and it just makes it look a little bit more cleaner and tidier. Um, and I do prefer to do that. There we go, that will do. So now we have got our content planned out. However, I'm looking at this and I'm going, I wanna change this one and this one. So the um, 22nd of March and the 23rd of March content. I just, I'm not a fan of how that lays out. I want to switch them to a different day. Easiest way that I would do is highlight and copy them both and paste them over on the edge here. We'll come back to them shortly um, and then we can just delete them out of these boxes here. So we're just going to copy that one and I'm going to place it here and same with this one. Now, so that you can come back to this when you want to schedule it all at one time, we want to have all the information ready to go. So what I would do is go over to the piece that you want to add your caption to, right click on it, and we're going to add a comment which you can on a Mac, it's command option M, um, but it's just easier to do this. So we're going to add a comment. Now this is where I'm going to write out my caption. You can come back to these comments at a later time, which is super, super handy. So I'm just gonna go out and write our caption here. So now that we have our caption written out, you can see that it adds a little triangle. These may be different colors, but mine always seem to come up orange. So you can see if you highlight over this whole box, you can see that I've started writing it out. This is where you can hit show more and you can just copy the whole lot and chuck it straight in to your um, scheduling system, wherever it is. Now, if you want to go through and edit that at any future time, you can hit more options and edit. So this is where you can go through, add anything else, um, alter it a little bit more, but you can always just do that whenever you're scheduling it. Now, just a little handy tip. What I do once a whole month is finished is I go down to the bottom here, find the month that we're in, which is March, and we are going to see this little arrow here. We're going to click that. We're going to change color and I just change it to red that it's completed and it's ready to go now because I don't want it right at the start when I open it up I'm going to see it I'm going to click and drag it all the way over to after December and I'm going to do this every single month um, as I finish off them so that when I open up this template in the future it'll be the current month that we're at now, like I said, if you do want this free content calendar template, all you have to do is click the link in the description. Like I said, it's completely free. You don't have to go through and make it. Trust me, it does take some time. So go and grab that, start creating your content. Now, if you are stuck on what content to make, we have done a podcast episode in the past, which is all about content creation tips. We talk about all the different content categories and how you can create your own content strategy. 
Technology. My name's Jasmine. I am the CEO and Senior Designer at Willow and Pine Studios, a graphic design, branding and marketing agency. If you have any further questions, feel free to jump on a free call with me today. We talk to people all around the world. So if you're in a different country, that is totally fine. We can help you. You'll find the link for that call in the description down below. And I really hope that I can talk to you soon. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments down below and I would love to connect with you. That is all from me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.